All right, guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. A very quick and simple tutorial today because I'm a simple man. But this is essentially the material override in cycles. Now, why would you use this? Well, maybe the client just wants to see a default scene in clay or whatever. Or maybe you've made all the materials and you're pretending to the client that you're still working, so you might just override all the materials. <laughs> I've been there, I've been there. But anyway, this is how it works. So I'm just going to select an object, for example, and I'm just going to create a new material here. So I hit the plus sign, I'll go to new, and I'll just call this material tutorial. And we'll keep everything nice and basic. We'll just keep it white so you get the idea. But this can be any material, for example. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the view layer. And I'm going to come all the way down the bottom. Remember, this is cycles as well. And you can see here, material override. And you can see that we have our material, which was tutorial. And that's it. It pretty much overrides absolutely everything. Uh, even if you add in a new object, for example. So let's just quickly add in the default cube. Yeah, I do go into edit mode when I add an object. Second twist that way. But yeah, so that's the material override. And we can also do this with the world properties. So if we actually go into the world settings here and you set up a new world, you can actually switch this as well. So maybe you want to change the background from white to black or whatever. And that is pretty much material override. Very easy to use. Anyway, if I've made a mistake or you've got any suggestions, put them down in the comments below. You know what to do. Take care. I'm a simple man. A simple, simple man.